They do say they have all the suspects in custody now, all of them teenagers ages 15, 16 and 17. Take you to that video from the scene on Sunday. All of this happening just before 2 a.m. when Kent police responded to 911 calls of shots fired. They spotted the suspect in the red truck and the suspect and two passengers took off. Officer Moreno was deploying spike strips to stop the high speed chase. He was struck by a patrol car who was pursuing the suspect. Officer Moreno died at the scene. The other officer, an 18 year veteran, is expected to survive. But Diego Moreno, an eight year veteran of Kent PD, he was 35 years old. He survived by his wife and two kids. The community is invited to attend a vigil at Town Square Plaza in Kent here starting Wednesday at 7 p.m. There's also going to be a public memorial next Tuesday, which is July 31st at 1 p.m. at the Showware Center here in Kent. But if you're interested in helping the officer's family, you can make a donation at any U.S. bank location under the Diego Moreno Memorial Fund. As you look live this morning on this Tuesday at the many flowers and balloons, the cards that are right outside the Kent Police Headquarters here, a, a beautiful tribute to a man who is so well respected in this community. Coming up at 530, we're hearing from some of the people who knew Diego Moreno best, and he was very involved at the Little Gym, a place for gymnastics and fun for youth. Uh, we're going to talk to one of his co-workers coming up at 530. Reporting live, I'm Alex Rosier. We'll send it back to you.